Hey guys, I'm Tyler and today I'm going to show you the best way to use your trip wires. Trip wires cost 200 credits to buy and can be picked up after being deployed and saved between rounds. Once they're placed, they're visible to enemies for a very short period of time before disappearing. Enemies can see them by walking up slowly before they trip over them. The trip wires can be shot at any time and yes, they can be shot when they're invisible. They also show up on the minimap for you and your teammates. Here. Both friendly and enemy abilities can take out a tripwire, so keep that in mind when you're playing a hero like Raze. When an enemy hits a tripwire, they are tethered for 3 seconds and revealed to you and your teammates through the map. To remove the debuff, the trap must be destroyed in any way. If the wire is not destroyed, the enemy will be dazed for 3 seconds, which is the exact same daze as Breach's fault line ability, and the enemy receives a 75% slow that recovers over 0.35 seconds. There is an audio cue that is produced from the wire itself when someone trips it that anyone can hear when they are close enough, and when the trip wire is destroyed, Cypher will say a line about the wire being destroyed which is heard by the Cypher player. People typically place wires horizontally, but you might sometimes see people place them vertically or diagonally. Personally, I think it's a bad idea to place them anyway besides horizontally, because anything on any kind of angle becomes easier to dodge. When you're placing your wires, you have to make sure that if an enemy wants to get by them, they will have to either walk through them or destroy them. If you place a trap vertically, it gives them room to walk to the side of the tripwire and ignore it completely. If this happens, there will be no audio cues alerting you that an enemy has walked by your wire. Any sort of angle introduced to the wire makes it easier to dodge and I feel that 99% of the time it's best to just put your wire horizontally. When placing your horizontal wires, make sure they're high enough so enemies can't jump over them and low enough so they can't crouch under them. Take note of the area surrounding your tripwire and make sure there are no spots that the enemies can use to avoid the wire. Here are some examples of tripwires that can be easily avoided. These spots are all over every map and people miss them all the time. You can use this to your advantage when there's a cypher on the other team, but don't be the guy that gets burned by a flank when someone jumps over your tripwire. Abilities like Raze's Bomb Buddy and Sova's Owl Drone can also trigger the wires, so make sure your wires are at least higher than the height of the Bomb Buddy. There's really no point in trying to hide the wire because if an enemy is moving quickly through an area, they'll hit the wire regardless of where it's placed or the orientation. And if they're walking slowly, the audio cue of a wire being nearby happens way earlier than the wire actually appearing, so a good enemy will stop and find the wire and either destroy it or walk around it. The best option is to make sure they have to destroy it so you'll be notified of an enemy being there. Offensively, there are two playstyles when it comes to your tripwires. The first option is to lurk and use them on flanks as your team pushes forward. Here are some examples of some trap spots for that. This is the most obvious playstyle for Cypher and a lot of people will default to having him as the primary lurker. He can watch more than one angle with his camera and his tripwires make it really hard for flankers to have any sort of success. This is a really effective playstyle but it can get kind of boring pretty quickly. Also, take note of tripwire spots like these two where they're placed on the inside of doors. If the base of the tripwire is blocked by the door frame, it makes them almost impossible to shoot unless you can wall bang them, or you have to trigger the tripwire before you can shoot it out. The other option is to save them from when you plant the bomb and use the wires to defend the bomb site. Here are some spots for defending a bomb plant. Whichever strategy you use is up to you and your team. Try out both styles and see which one you like better and see which one fits better for the game you're in. This playstyle can be a lot more exciting because you'll be pushing sites more and camping less. I also think that Cypher is much more effective being played this way because you're essentially turning him into a defender once the bomb goes down, and Cypher clearly excels on defense. Once the bomb goes down, you are effectively defending that bomb site, so you can use any defensive wires you have for those sites to protect against flanks, or you can get creative with the placements in the defender's spawn side of the bomb site. Check out my camera spot video and one way trap video for some good ways to use Cypher's other abilities while defending a bomb plant. 
For the rest of the video, I'm just going to show off a bunch of different spots so you can put your wires on all three maps. There's so many spots that you can put them, so I'll just put a few of them here for you guys. They cover defensive spots, lurking spots, and bomb plant spots. As far as strategy goes for your tripwires, make sure you're changing up the placements of them, especially on defense. If a team pushes a bomb site and you have a wire in the exact same spot every time, they will adapt and sometimes try and shoot the spots the wires are in before they even push forward. Back your wires up for some rounds and even double trip wire certain sides. If an enemy sees no wire where they normally expect one, they can call that out to the team and possibly expect you to have switched bomb sites. The best thing you can do is keep the enemy on their toes and use your trip wires in different ways. You can also use them to set up wall bangs. If you sit behind a wall that you can shoot through, you can use the vision the trip wire gives you to see through the wall and pick up an easy kill. You can also combine them with your cages to really maximize the impact of all of Cypher's abilities. Being able to completely block the vision of your enemies makes it even easier to secure the kills without taking any damage. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found some helpful tips in here and some strategies that you can implement into your own games. If you want more Cypher content, check out the rest of my channel, I have camera spots and one way trap videos that all work in the most recent patch. I also have a raised grenade guide that goes over grenade spots on all of the maps. Also don't forget that I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 12pm Eastern, link for that is in the description. Like and subscribe for more Valorant videos and leave a comment down below of what you want to see next. Thanks again for watching guys and come say hi in my Twitch chat. I have dropped the spike. I have retrieved the spike. I have dropped the spike. I have dropped the spike. I have retrieved the spike. I have dropped the spike.